Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you for joining. Today I'm going to be sharing how I do sort of my loose beachy wave curls on my short hair. So what you're going to need for this hairstyle is a curling wand. I use this one by Eva NYC. Um, I'll put the link down below. I think you can get it at Target. And it comes with a glove that you can use. And then I just have a scrunchie and a few products. So the products I'm going to use is this Navy um, Navigator and then the Way Memory Mist. I actually already used this. It's like a heat protectant. Um, I did it before I blow dried. And then I'll use that at the end too as a finishing product. And then for the Way, I'll use that right now. I'm just going to take your hair and section it off. When your hair is short like mine, it's the hardest part to curl is the bottom layer because they're the shortest technically. Um, so this is going to be the most challenging part of your whole head, but basically what you do is just take like one inch long sections or one inch wide and then you just wrap them around the curling iron. So point the curling iron down and wrap them away from your face and then leave a little end out and hold for like five to ten seconds depending on your texture and whatnot and then I'm just gonna do this throughout my hair <laughs> when you go to the other side I usually switch my hands so I'm gonna hold the curling iron with my left hand when I'm curling on my right side of my head point it down and twist away from my face again. And like I said, the bottom is the hardest layer to curl since it's like the shortest. So I'm not super precise about it. Sometimes um, I might even miss a piece on the bottom, but since it's so short, it kind of gets like covered up by everything else and blends in. Like I didn't do these pieces, but you can't really tell. So, um, and I realized that I didn't even use the memory <laughs> mist. Moving on to the next layer, I'll show you guys how I actually use the memory mist. This just helps your hair hold the curl, so. Just spray it all over. It smells really good too. And then just going to do the same thing. Point this down. Curl away from your face. Hold it there for a few seconds. Leave the end out. And that's kind of the effect. Again, I'm just going to do this to my whole head and move on to the next layer. your hair is um, you may have a different sectioning technique I do for like three to four sections because I have really thick hair so that just sort of helps me um, break it down and like get every piece a little bit better if I'm in a rush I only do three sections but when I have time I try to do four because it helps me do a better job on all of my hair so same thing for this section, just curling away from your face. Also, um, I kind of tend to pay a little more attention and do the curls a little bit better for these top layers because they're the ones that show more. Um, I just take a little bit more time on them. See, I just messed that one up. That's not taking more time. But just try to make these really good. Don't skip any pieces like... I did on the bottom. 
forgot to use my memory vest again. And for the brand of curling iron, I feel like it actually does matter a lot because I've used other curling irons and my favorite one has always been the Eva NYC ones. Um, I actually have like another older one that's kind of broken, but I still use it because I love it so much. But what it is about these that I feel like is a little bit better for my hair anyways is they're a little bit smaller than... A lot of the other wands that I've used and that for me it just helps make tighter curls obviously and it makes them last a little bit longer so with my hair texture it actually doesn't hold curl very well so um, I like these to be like pretty tight as you can see at the beginning but throughout the day and then by day two they fall so much and the day two curls is actually cuter in my opinion than the day one so if you are going to do something I might curl your hair the day before and then just do some touch-ups the day of the thing Again, I'm just going to spray it with the memory mist before and then I will go ahead and do the same thing. So I don't usually start with my bangs, I don't know why, I just feel like they're so important and I like remind myself how to do it for a little while before moving on to them. So I just take like a section, a couple maybe like an inch back from my bangs and just start doing those and go all the way to the root and then after I've done a few pieces I feel comfortable to move on to my bangs which is basically just the same thing but I don't go all the way to my root um, and I hold it for a little bit longer and I usually like move the curling iron around like that while I hold the end of the hair to give it like a natural bend. And then take some of these inner pieces, do the same thing. I don't know like how I came up with this technique. I don't know if it's legit, but it works in my head. So that's what I do to make the front like a little bit softer and not like a ringlet. And then just continue to curl throughout. one turn towards my face for some reason and then I don't know if I like how that looks right now so I might switch it to away from my face very indecisive about my hair I'm pretty much done it's hard to tell if I got pieces in the back but I think I did so after I'm done curling it as you can see, it's sort of bouncy and ringlety. So I just run my fingers through it lightly because the curls are honestly going to fall so much on their own that I don't need to like go through it with a brush or something and brush them out. And that's pretty much it. Um, I'll go in with the Style Navigator from Navy which is just gonna like give me some shine 
and just spray that in. It also smells amazing. And then, like I said, from here, um, I, I do like my hair better on day two. So I kind of just let it do its thing. I think it's still fine on day one, but I just like it when it falls a little bit more. But that is the finished look. It's really easy, and I hope you guys liked it. If you did, be sure to like and comment and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.